good evening everybody it is evening here um, I'm gonna work on his hair this is his hair it's not some decoration on the uh, headdress um, I've been contemplating what I'm going to do with this piece and uh, trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do to make it <coughs> stronger I think I've come up with an idea it's been hard to work on it. It's just some points you get to where you just dread even looking at it. And uh, I've been that way for about the, the last week. And uh, thus the lack of videos. But uh, I've got an idea to go along with the story that I'm sort of developing with this piece. I'll show you how I uh, make the hair and uh, I don't want to do it in round tubes I want it to have some form to it so I roll it out then I take my between my th thumb the fatty part and the uh, the uh, thumbnail I uh, use that little crease and uh, run it down in kind of a wavy motion. <clears throat> and that gives it a nice little um, texture that I can twist around. And then I just stick it underneath the uh, headdress and combine it with uh, the uh, hair that I made before. It's not perfect, but it works. Uh, you can't make every hair strand, so you have to do what you can. Okay, what this is, is white ermine. It's a weasel that uh, you find amongst the rocks up here in Montana. And just about every place out west, I think. <coughs> anyway, uh, this is going to have four uh, weasel skins hanging off of each side of the headdress. Okay, four ermine on each side, and uh, I'll kill the camera now and come back after I get the other four done. I'm going to be doing a uh, scabbard, and it's going to be at his feet. Uh, it'll be empty. The uh, bow will be out of the scabbard and uh, strung, but it'll be laying on the ground. And uh, 
The reason is because he's run out of arrows and he's dropped it at his feet <coughs> so it doesn't get in his way and he's uh, uh, grabbed his uh, war club and he's uh, prepared to take a stand. Now uh, these are examples of uh, uh, the type of Plains Indian uh, scabbards there would be and so I'm going to uh, work on this. I think I'm going to do the plain one. It's got a couple of rows of beads here but uh, not much else and it it just makes it easier for the casters to uh, produce it that's all. All right now it's upside down and I apologize for that but that's the way it's got to be. First thing I'm going to make is uh, the uh, bow scabbard itself for the arrows I think what I'm going to do is add a little bit more clay. I'm going to put some uh, depressions in it showing that it is empty. on the uh, texture of the uh, base first. If you remember correctly, I think I made the base out of uh, taxidermy foam and just covered it with uh, the clay. It's been a while so I can't remember. Yep, there's foam there. And uh, The reason I'm going to go ahead, oh wait a minute, I want to do something first. He'd have dropped his bow first, so I'll make it bow. <coughs> Alright, I know it, <coughs> it's hard to see, but here's the bow. It stretches from the front to the back, and then the scabbard that's empty of arrows is there. The strap that would have fit on his back over his shoulder is there. I'll lengthen that because it's a little short. Um, and now I'm going to add the uh, empty uh, bow, the scabbard that would have held the bow. But uh, I wanted to show you how it's oriented on the base before I go any further. I'm sorry about the, the shadows, but uh, anyway. Whoop, look at that. Rag rag out of the way. And anyway, and you can see the orientation of it on the on the uh, base is what I'm trying to show you. I want it to look like he just dropped it and uh, he was maybe behind a barrier or or something shooting arrows and then uh, when he ran out of arrows he uh, dropped the bow and the scabbard because they would just be added uh, a pro added problem. Um, so anyway, that's the way that is. It, the bow will be strung. I'll have a, a wire going between uh, both ends of the, the uh, bow. And I'll work on the bow just to get it all 
cleaned up and everything like that. I might redo the bow out of uh, wax and uh, put it on later, but for now I'm just checking out the design to see how it works. And I kind of like it. So, anyway, I'm going to continue working on this. Uh, using my ruler to turn the table, I'll show you best I can what the uh, bow and scabbard how nicely they work into the uh, design of the piece now. The uh, base isn't so empty and uh, it gives more of a story to the uh, what's happening. Alright, that's uh, going to be it from the Lemon Studios. <laughs> well, whatever. Anyway, that's going to be it for tonight. See you next time. I hope it's soon.